Okay, looks like our uh, nitrogen solidified here. This beaker, the, the stuff flowing on the top is actually the vapor from the helium. And unfortunately, this it's, it's so frozen that it froze the, uh, the tongs into the solid nitrogen. That's nitrogen. And what's pouring out of there is the nitrogen as it's melting. <coughs> See if I can pull that off in there. Okay, there we go. So there's, there's our solid nitrogen that's quickly melting as it warms up to room temperature. That's liquid nitrogen, so there's a phase change of solid nitrogen to liquid, and the liquid hits the surface and becomes gas, so there's all three phases of nitrogen, solid, liquid, and gas. <coughs> Um, stick it back in there, refreeze it some more, or add, we'll, we'll top it off a little bit, freeze some more, why not, while we got the helium. <laughs> Watch yourself there. So as soon as I put this in there. Whoa! Did you get mad? That? That's cool! <laughs> Where did everybody go? <laughs> I'm surprised they're not talking like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we just quenched the magnet. That's what a magnet quench looks like, multiplied by about 50 or 100 or 200. So there's obviously a lot of helium collecting in there in the liquid state. Probably froze that pretty quickly. Oh yeah, I froze it instantly. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So like I say, we have all three phases of nitrogen here with those very weak intramolecular forces. Inside the plastic beaker, it's solid. As I pull it out at room temperature, it instantly begins to melt into the liquid phase. The droplets of liquid nitrogen hit the surface of the room temperature tabletop and become gas. So we have all three phases. They're not all in equilibrium, mind you, but where they're all three present at the same time. There's the solid in the beaker, which will soon melt into the liquid. The liquid hits the top of the table and turns into gas. There's solid nitrogen right there. Everybody see that? Solid nitrogen. We've got more. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look. There's that, what I was talking about, how low the heat of vaporization is of the liquid helium. It just instantly turns much of it, that small amount of heat that I add, except beaker's already really cold. That small amount of heat vaporized a big chunk. It's really freezing my thumb here. I can't even get my thumb out of there. Heat. Look at it. It is frozen. Want to see a white frozen thumb? That is my thumb is completely frozen there. See, I'm taking one for the team, for the, for the name of science here. Good grief, that's painful. <laughs> Even for me. Okay, we're just going to let that sit there and do its thing. Well, it's going to sit there. There we go. Ha! All right. <laughs> Who's insane in the membrane? Anyway, we're probably almost out of time, huh? Five minutes. Are still recording? Mm-hmm. All right, so our cast of characters... Maria Bernal, Daniel Camp, leaving the room is soon to be Dr. Tin Alfredo Villarreal Kong. I don't know why he left. He's camera shy. 